Oh, isn't that great? Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, so now we're back into actually Koblenz. This is where the, the city starts. This is still, we call this kind of a village here. It's Cruz. It's where I live now. And to be honest, I would rather be getting in or I go over, but Cruz is okay. It's close to the city. It's pretty, it's nice. It's okay. It's beautiful. It's okay. Now, which six months do you go back to the States every year? I go back in the winter because I'm a skier. Okay. Uh, so I'm planning on leaving this year in, in uh, December. My my children are both grown <coughs> and out of the house. My daughter now lives in Vancouver. She fell in love with a Canadian and moved there last year. That's oh, a lovely city. Gorgeous. I've heard that, and I can't gorgeous. wait. I'm going to see it in September of this year. That'll be great. And great my son brushes. lives in Darmstadt, and... He's not going to leave Germany, so I, I am going to have a torn heart no matter what I do. I had a torn heart coming over. And it depends when you get the grandkids. Yeah, uh -huh. that's the problem. That changes everything. Yeah, yeah. It changes the whole equation. Yeah. So right now, but I do like to go, I'm a skier, so I like to go over it in uh, January. And stay. What I want to do next year is stay for the three months ski, and then I want to buy myself or rent a, a, like a small van caravan type thing and take a road trip. Do the whole western United States up to Vancouver again to see my daughter. That is absolutely breathtaking. Back through Idaho. I've never been to Idaho. I've never been to Washington. I've never been to uh, Oregon. Gorgeous. So I want to do all that and then take three months. I really want to take a long, long tour. It's absolutely yeah, I can't breathtaking. Wait. That's my plan for next year. So I will probably rent my house out again, which was just fine. Both of my parents are getting up there in age, so it's kind of a... Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be just. You just yeah. have to roll with the punches. Roll with the punches and never. And one thing I can say is I'm in much closer contact to my parents today than I was when I first came over here. Because back in those days, I couldn't call home. If I wrote them a letter, it took a, a right. week and a half for it to get there and a week and a half for the answer to come back. When the facts came along, oh my gosh, that was like well, world revelations. And now, if I with my daughter, I can send her a picture every day. She can we can have conversations over WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. It's just oh, yeah. fabulous. Yes, it's quite a different world than what we had when we were all kids. Yeah. So now we're going out of the last of the, the vineyards for the Mosel River. These are the last of the vineyards here. Uh, my husband's uncle has these vineyards, and he says I'm the last winemaker on the the, the Mosel. If you say, ich bin die Letzte, that means you're the worst. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he always kind of laughs when he says that, because it's kind of a play on words. It's like when you say here, you're, you're stone rich. That means you've got more money than God. Oh. And, and, but if somebody says, oh, he's steinreich, that means he has a lot of money. <laughs> and here we say we're stone rich because we have a lot of stones in our vineyards. Look at this house right here. It's done with mosaics. That's oh, you. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I've oh, never seen it. the guy work on it, but he, it's been a, st a steadily growing project. Yeah. Every time I look, there's it's more. Only until the 70s is over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you've got an ugly house like that, it's just a bear. You know, it's nice and colorful. Yeah. You don't have to water it. Don't have to nope. anything. You don't he have won't have to repaint. It. You don't have to repaint. And then we do have a university here in uh, Koblenz. It's a small university in terms of, like, there's maybe 6,000 students here, which is over its capacity. Poor students have to sit on the ground for some of their uh, lectures. But it adds a nice young population to the to the city. So we'll cross back over the Mosul here. Here you get a nice view to Aaron Breitstein again through the buildings of the uh, administration area. So if you look there through the buildings, you can see the, the Aaron Breitstein. That, you're parked, your ship is parked right at the base of that. So from here you get a nice view to it. You can see the modern administration buildings of the area that's right here. This bridge is not all that old. In fact, they built it while I was pregnant with my second child. We had to go up and to the bridge up above, over to that gold bridge to get to the hospital that's over here. Yeah. <laughs> 
trying to remember the name of the man that we just saw. He's from Vinnegan, and he doesn't remember, neither do I. <laughs> Both got oh, jeez. It's, it's just getting worse yeah. and worse. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, tell him he's lucky he still remembers he's from Vinnegan. There's Octopus Lucas, that's who buys us from Vinnegan comes. It's Octopus. It's Octopus. Yeah. But seriously, I came out of a store yesterday, and it wasn't a store that I usually shop in, and I came out and I said to myself, where the hell are you? <laughs> I had to take a minute to figure out where I was. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's one that, it, it was an Aldi, and it wasn't yes. the Aldi that I usually go to, and it was... Oh, I get that. We don't have out. the time to Aldi. And, but we have Aldis all over the place. There's probably yes. seven or eight Aldis right here in mm. Koblenz. Yeah. And it was that one that I don't go to very often. I came out and I was like, oh. <laughs> Where's my car? Where am I? Yeah, I know, and then you start to break. Get up from the living room and walk yeah. into the den. Yeah, and then you get in there and Why go, am I here? Why am I here? Am I here? <laughs> You're not alone. So yeah. you go back into the room and then you see something and you go, oh. oh. <laughs> Been well, there, done that. It just gets worse. <laughs> well, speaking of American stores, and I hope the answer is no, but are there any Walmarts in Germany? They came here for a very, very short time and didn't make it. They left. Good. They oh, left. Good. Okay. They left. It was nice clear job. back in, oh, when was that? Early 2000 they tried, and it they just didn't make it. Mm -hmm. They did, and they had, it didn't come off at all. We, we don't have, I can't tell you what the difference is, though, to be honest. I mean, if you go to a store here, service is not huge. If okay. you ask for somebody to show you where something is, that they would bring you and show you to where it is, it's pretty rare. They might say it's over that way. Yeah. 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 And you and you can go look. I did, I'll, I'll, that said though, I went to a store here, it's a construction store, and I asked for, I looked for one of those uh, pieces of plastic, a, a, a one euro article. Mm -hmm. He brought me to the place. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised. He brought me there and I was yeah. like, wow. But I think this store is successful just because of that. They have yeah. quite a, a number of people that will help you really help you and not just say, oh, it's not my department. Yeah. And you get that a lot here. Well, I've had some terrible uh, shopping experiences here. But the thing about it is in the States, too, we got these Walmarts and everything, but we come from a small town mm -hmm. where service means that we've got a, we've got a hardware store yeah. you know, that you buy, you know, these screwdrivers and mm -hmm. nails and things like that. But we all go there because we know if we don't shop there, it's going to be yeah, gone. And, and, and when right. you go in and they know your name, and if you need your yeah. gas tank refilled yes. for your grill, they'll take it out. Susan will take it out of the car, we'll put it in the car, and yeah. just pay for it. And you've got to patronize those stores. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, you, you will lose them. Do. Yes. You, get, you, know, you get what you get. And, and, yeah. there's, and there's not really that much difference in price, yeah. really. Right. And if you, and they always have good popcorn, right? Here. They have a popcorn <laughs> machine. I get, I get free popcorn at the hardware store. Yeah, it's very important. It's the little things in life that we do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But we have all these they've had for something. We just we shop there and we shop at a local produce place. That's basically where we shop. We try to do the same thing. We try to support small businesses, yeah. local. Oh. And we buy a lot of vegetables from the Amish and we can our own vegetables. Uh -huh. We make our own sausage. And oh. Are you a butcher? Yeah, we used to both be butchers. Her, her father was a meat market. That's a, that's a skill. <coughs> that's nothing you yep. You know, when we buy chicken, we'll just go buy ten whole chickens and cut them all up. But you won't do it in pork. What's that? You won't cook their necks in pork fat. No, pork fat. <laughs> oh, no. Another interesting thing about here in Koblenz is the fact that because this place was so strategic, not only for the Romans, but for the war, when they excavate something here, quite often they have a problem with coming across Roman ruins oh. or a bomb. Now, what was, it, what was the high value of the, here that they bombed them so much? The what? What was the high value that they would bomb this because so much? Because it was such a, a strategic um, location from the river and the, and the railroads, mm. both of those things. And we have up here a, a place that was a, earlier, it was a uh, swimming pool for the whole city of Koblenz. They took it down. When they went into the ground, they discovered, first of all, a Roman ruin. Wow. So they had to stop for six months and document the whole Roman ruin part of it. And everybody's dying. Of the well, and they were waiting. Oh, <laughs> well, no, they, they're not putting another swimming pool in there at all. Then they kept going, and they discovered a bomb. When they discover bombs here, they have to evacuate the entire city. And last year, we were evacuated three different times here wow. in Poland for bombs wow. that were discovered while excavating. 
the 50s, they used to, they used to find them every day. Yeah. Oh, it was terrible. And, and I mean, thankfully, they've had no destruction come from those um, moments, but it, it always does make me wonder. Yeah, yeah, it sure does. See, up here on the, the right is where the... And right now, they've had so much high water that the whole foundation of this building is underwater. I don't know what they were thinking. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting to see whether they get the thing dried out. So there you can, again, you see the basalt from the Baldwin Bridge. Right. From Finnegan. Mm -hmm. Could you write that store down? Just like the oh. lace curtains. Mm -hmm. That would be great. And it's an every town. Oh. Let's see, we have Ikea, but it's up in Canada yeah. that we go to. Yeah, they would probably have it as well. Oh, yeah. See the water? Hey. How the water's still oh. oh, my. That's where they found the Annalia bomb with the Roman Wow. Bombs. Wow. Another thing that I like to point out to people is when we're coming back in here, um, it's a, a, a modern artwork from a Russian artist. Her name is Beauty. And she's sitting on the on the wall here with a bathing cap and some fins. And when she was first put up there, you can see her about halfway up the wall there. Pink baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. When she was first installed up there, people kept calling the fire department and the police saying, "There's somebody about to jump." jump. Oh no. <laughs> so they don't re they don't react to it anymore now. And you can see it's a very popular place for all the, the tourist ships to come here. So how far up the Mosul do do? Do ships go? Oh, they can go the entire distance because uh -huh. of the locks. Okay. Yeah. Does the Mosul change names when it goes into France? Yes, it, then it's called the Mosella. Okay. So. And, and we have a song here. Oh, Mosella. And what is it called in Luxembourg? I'm pretty sure they call it the Mosella mm -hmm. because it's a uh, French. Uh, Luxembourg speaks, speaks Fran more. Francophones. Yeah, yeah they yeah. speak more French than they do German. Mm. Now, when we get out for the bus up here around the corner. We're going to walk back through a, 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 a yard, and there's a, a place where there's three pieces of the Berlin Wall that came after the reunification of Germany, but I'll take you past that, and then we'll be at the show. So thank I want to thank Klaus for doing a super good job yes. driving us there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Klaus. Don't forget to pick up all your jackets, umbrellas, packages. Wine. Wine, very nice yes, wine. wine. Look at wine. The, the wine train. Look at, Look yeah, at that, little, how cute little is that? little tourist train. <laughs> yeah. You get on the stuff.